Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman. Thanks so much for your comments on my recent video on how to use Microsoft Word. One of the things that I did in that video that folks thought was interesting was that I was typing in some, some lorem ipsum, right? Some, uh, some fake Latin. And I, I went and did that by copy pasting from a website. There's uh, lorem ipsum websites. There's a Samuel L. Jackson generator lorem ipsum. There's all kinds of generators. I copied from the website. I didn't want to make things overly complicated, but a number of you in the comments pointed out, very rightly so, that there is a cool feature built into Word. If you type equals, just like a function that you would do in Excel, I could say three paragraphs and two words, and it generates it. I could also say equals rand, 10 paragraphs with four sentences each, rather. So not paragraphs and sentences, rather. So here's three, and here's 10 and four. I can go and generate uh, all of that to get a, a, a boilerplate document started out. That's a hidden feature in Word. It's a little bit like autocorrect. Autocorrect is when you do something like this. If we say Scott Hanselman R, that moment there where you say R and you get away, or TM, that's autocorrect. Well, one of the things I can do is if I go File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect, so I can change these. I can add one of my own. Here I've added one for my, my URL, for my website. So I just said parentheses URL. It doesn't have to have a parentheses, but it's nice. Keeps it from just typing the word URL. Anytime you do something twice, you might want to think about automating it. Could be an address, like your, your company address, right? So we could go and say File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect, and I could say address with 5 Main Street, Portland, Oregon, 9711 whatever, right? 97123, uh, Main Street, okay? Do that, do that, do that, pop up. And now something has become easier. So that's pretty cool. That's autocorrect. That also involves, uh, there's math autocomplete and all kinds of autocorrects rather that are really, really cool. Uh, another thing that's worth pointing out that a lot of people don't know about is over here in dictation. This is something that was added recently in Word. Your, your Word might look differently than mine. I've got the dark theme. Uh, yours might look a bit a little different. And when you use dictation, you should try to enunciate. If you look at my mouth, I'm speaking in a very neutral accent as best as I can, and I'm also moving my mouth in a very strange way, comma, almost like someone who's reading the news, period. This can give you really extraordinary results, comma, and save you a lot of time, exclamation point. If you maybe have limited hand motion or uh, repetitive stress injuries, that's pretty darn cool. I mean, that uh, is 99% of what I was trying to say. That's also built into Word, that dictation right there. Uh, a lot of people don't think about those things that they're built in. So again... We've got, um, oh, here's another one, actually. Let me show you this. So if I go rand, 10, 4, here's a bunch of random text. We saw in the last video, you double-click, select a thing, triple-click, select a whole paragraph. What if I click on this? What's going on here? That is the word clipboard. And in fact, it's a collecting clipboard. I can go and just control C and control C that. And I want a little bit of this. Go pull from somewhere. And now I've got a clipboard and I can individually paste those things. I could say, you know, there was a paragraph that was really good. I don't want to lose that. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. That's super helpful. Uh, now that is also built into Windows. You might already have a version of Windows that has that. Uh, you can hit Windows key V, just like I'm pressing uh, Control V or Control C, you hit Windows V and you've got a cloud clipboard. You can decide whether or not you want that clipboard synchronized or not. So if you go and say where your system clipboard settings are, depending on your preference and your sense of privacy, some people want those things synchronized across other machines. I like that idea because I have more than one machine. So I can turn on clipboard history and I can automatically sync across devices. That's something you have to opt in for. You have to get permission for that. Um, and you can decide whether or not that's something that you choose. 
uh, or whether or not you want everything to automatically synchronize. And that means that you could copy paste on one machine, go to another machine, and you've got your clipboard history there. That is specific to Windows. So Windows V does that, but over here, the clipboard in Word, and if you look under options, there are choices about whether or not that happens automatically. And most people use Control C being pressed twice. Control C, Control C to bring that up. So thanks for folks reminding us that you can do RAND and lorem ipsum as well. Uh, you've got the clipboard, you've got dictation, you've got autocorrect, all kinds of cool stuff in Word. These are hidden features in Word. I'll, actually, I'll leave you with a little, a little fun one. Let's say that uh, Scott and Mo are getting married. Welcome you to their wedding. Okay, not a very classy looking wedding invitation. Let's go and select that, and let's select a fancy font like uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Gabriola. That's a nice font, and then I'm going to go and make that bigger. Fancy, but still not the level of wedding fancy that we really need here, right? I'm going to select that. I'm picking specifically Gabriola because it's a font that includes ligatures. I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to say Font. I'm going to go to Advanced. I'm going to go down here to Open Type Features, and I'm going to show you that there's not only support for ligatures, but specifically stylistic sets. Watch this. I'm going to pick stylistic set number five. There's one and two. One and two. Got a little fancier. Let's see how, let's see how fancy we can get. Can we go too far? Look at that. I'll notice how, I don't notice how it moves. There's your P, O, R, T, L. Look at that L, isn't that cool? A, N, D. Now look, when you hit the D, the ligature in the D doesn't really make sense. See how they're too close to each other? Look, Portland, now watch. That would be weird. Yep, we'll make room for the D. We did this with our wedding invitations. We used Gabriola, we used stylistic sets and ligatures. That's been supported in Word for a very, very long time, uh, but a lot of people don't know about it. So keep sending me your crazy tips. Uh, I love it. And subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, and please do go back and look at the previous playlists. I can do Word, I can do Excel, I can do PowerPoint, but I can also do Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Windows 10 in general. Keep giving me suggestions in the comments. Uh, I think I've got it dialed in pretty well that I can bang these videos out in a very short period of time uh, without any editing. So thank you very much. And again, please do subscribe.